What's up guys, Tim Little, welcome back to Tactical Bass. In today's video, we are going underwater, subsurface to check out bass eating jigs. We got some awesome, awesome footage for you. Slow motion, so much can be learned from watching fish eat baits underwater. Let's go. So underwater footage is fascinating to, to me. Uh, you know, so much can be learned from watching these fish interact with different baits underwater, their different mannerisms. Hopefully you guys have followed along the last several years and, and seen a bunch of our underwater footage. Uh, it has completely changed the way I fish certain baits, completely changed the way I look at and understand fish. You know, like we've said in previous videos, all these fish seem to have their own separate, different personalities. Some fish are just very shy and standoffish. Some fish, you, you could throw a, a rock down there and they would hit it. They're just so aggressive, so uh, mean, and don't care about the boat, don't care about the different lures. And then some fish, you know, it depends on color, depends on how much you shake the worm, it depends on, on placement, all that sort of stuff. So today's video, again, we're going underwater. We're gonna be looking at three or four different types of jigs, different jig trailers, but more importantly, fish eating them in slow motion. Let's dive in. I wanted to start off with this fish right here. <laughs> you can see why. This was one of the most aggressive fish I've ever had the opportunity to film underwater. Uh, he does the, the dog shake, but pay attention to the bite placement of where he, uh, where he eats this bait, this jig, right on the tentacles, right behind the hook, and then does that uh, that, that dog shake, I like to call it, you know, that typical shake that, that dogs do when they have their chew toys. So violent. As I've said before, I could watch underwater footage right behind the hook, right on the pinchers. You know, a jig is made to uh, mimic a crawfish, and obviously the pinchers are the most dangerous part. But check out the bite placement and then the dog shake in slow motion. Another thing too, listen to how much noise that tungsten jig makes on those rocks. Poof. So cool. In slow motion, it makes it so much more epic. You know, you just see their, their dorsal fins, you know, going up and down when they get aggressive, when they get ticked off. Thanks, bud. Now, I put this one in here just because we talk about bite placement, but watch this. <laughs> I have never seen a bass do that. Completely miss the bait and chew on the stick. This cast, he actually holds on for quite a while. And shoes on the stick. Gotta love largemouth. Completely missed. I just thought this was funny that he sat there and the jig is completely gone and uh, he's sitting there shaking and and gnawing on that piece of wood. But today's video, you know, pay attention to the, the, uh, the jigs, the actions, the fish, their mannerisms, uh, how they eat them, how they avoid the hook, all that sort of stuff. Again, underwater footage, watching it in slow motion, so much, so much info uh, is there for us to just to watch and understand. You know, pay attention to the way the, the light refracts off the, off the bottom. You know, there's so much life, so much movement going on.
we have action on that bait. Just like every video, I'll link all the different uh, baits and trailers down below in the video description. But I put this video in there, this clip, because that jig just looks so good on the fall and when it's moving quickly. <laughs> we call that a jig from heaven. Look at that action on the fall. That's actually a little uh, finesse jig from Dirty Jigs Tackle paired up with uh, uh, a rage craw. I cut off a little bit of the, the main body to fit on that little finesse jig, but you can see that, that package is an awesome profile and has a ton of movement. So cool to watch the like the little three-step process of them to eat those jigs. It's like the first bite. I don't know if that's just to like stun the bait, and then they hold it there, they suck it into the head, and then the last like kind of gulp just sucks it all in. So quick. So I'm slowing down this footage a about 20% of, of real, real time, so very, very slow. But some of these fish, they eat so quickly, their movements are so quick, you gotta slow it down that fast to see everything that's going on. Dorsal fins up, coming in for attack. Right behind the head, and then kunk. Two stage bite. so quick that was just a full-on engulf no two or three stage bite just a full-on choke it look at all the different particles and stuff in the water you know from above we can't see that really even with great polarized sunglasses, you can see there's sediment in the water, but you can't see the way the light reflects off of everything, the way the light's reflecting off of the rocks. Makes you really think about baits with uh, reflective sides versus like ghost, you know, see-through iridescent colored baits. Smallmouth are so cool. They're so mean. You know, I love mar largemouth too, but the smallmouth just the they're just so aggressive. Oh, dorsal fins up. Something's coming. That's that little jewel baits jig paired up with that tiny paca. It's an awesome little jig. Awesome profile. Real finessey. Look at that dorsal fin coming up. The other thing too is the sound that your bait makes when it hits the water. As soon as your bait hits the water, the dorsal fin goes up. Trolling motor noise, other boats going by, there's so much going on that we don't understand or pay attention to when we're out on the water. That's an awesome little jig package. Again, I'll link it down below, but that's that, that tiny paca paired up with that jewel baits. Just looks like a little crawdad down there in the rocks. Look at that bite placement. <laughs> but one thing that's really stood out to me is that troll motor noise. You know, making sure that I'm not hitting or engaging my troll motor or steering it during Midcast, look how fast that was. That's that Kitek paired up with the um, <laughs> with that 
that, uh, I believe that's the Paca as well. Jeez, look how fast that is. Boom, boom, boom. I'll play it again. Now watch it in slow motion. <laughs> Eyeballs moving. Got the pincher, got the right behind the head, and then gone. He didn't hit the stick that time. So cool. You guys, hopefully you enjoy that footage. I love, you know, it's, it's not the easiest to get. It's a challenge to get, but, uh, you know, especially to get the, the fish to interact with the baits on camera. You know, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. Again, it is challenging, but there's so much to be learned from watching this footage. Again, I could watch this footage hours upon hours a day just because there's so many cool things, you know, uh, we'll do different uh, uh, baits here in the future. We'll do some drop shot stuff, some Ned Rig stuff, some some uh, really cool drop shot worm stuff that we we got to film. But uh, you know, seeing the different fish interact as they come through around the area, how territorial the fish are. Um, you know, they do not miss anything that's going on in their zone. You know, they know this whole area that they live in. They know that zone. When carp come in, they chase them off. When crawdads come in, they they kill them, chase them off. Uh, when when other bass come in, they attack them and chase them off. It's really cool. You know, we just think that it's a green or a brown fish down there, and we're throwing a lure at it trying to catch it. But really, there's so much going on. Currents, you know, currents huge. You don't realize that in reservoirs and and uh, bodies of water that don't have really a river system, that there are current. Uh, there is current depending on the day before with the weather, the wind, all that sort of stuff, how the current switch, how the fish position differently when that current switches and now it's coming from their tail instead of their face. Uh, but again, hopefully you guys enjoyed that footage. Feel free to watch it again. The slow motion stuff is so awesome. Uh, leave some comments down below and uh, some of the things that you guys noticed, some of your favorite things from watching underwater footage, and we'll continue to get this footage for you guys. As always, we appreciate you. If you like this type of video, please give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to the channel. We'll talk to you soon, guys.